Hey guys, this is Abhishek from Gadgets.com, and today we are going to do a quick hands-on review and overview of the HP Slate Book X2. This is a netbook which has been launched from HP today here in India and as far as the overall look and feel of this particular machine is concerned it is pretty sleek in terms of the overall look and feel and also very light in terms of the weight so in terms of the overall design it looks like the HP NVX2 which we have seen earlier as far as the hinge is concerned as far as the overall design is concerned but this netbook is not a Windows 8 tablet or a laptop this is an Android tablet plus laptop so what you can do is you can actually remove the screen from this particular machine like this so you can remove the display part of it uh, you have uh, this particular display part as a 10 inch Android tablet with you so you can use this particular machine uh, all together this display as a tablet so you don't have to use the keyboard you can always detach it and use it like a tablet so this is an Android tablet plus laptop because you get an additional keyboard from HP designed specifically for this particular tablet over here and it will automatically fit uh, with this particular hinge over here as you can see and you do have some magnetic hinge over here which will hold the display part of it very strongly and tightly so you will not face any problem once the uh, lid is there so you can attach it and then you can uh, hold it like this and it will not fall off so the overall build quality of this machine is pretty nice in terms of the overall look and feel this machine does look quite premium to hold in one hand and also when it comes to the post connectivity you have the HDMI out connectivity on this particular machine you have the charging port over here uh, here you have the hinge you also have the rubber paddings over here so whenever you open the display part of it they will not cause any kind of scratches they will make sure that the uh, laptop is stable enough whenever you are using this particular machine and then you have a USB port over here as you can see and you have a headphone jack over here the headphone and mic jack and when it comes to the camera you have a camera over here on this machine and the camera which we have on this device at the back side is the 5 megapixel camera and you have a power button over here the power and sleep key for the tablet and you have a volume rocker here as well on the display lid uh, on the tablet part of the machine so if you take a look over the uh, front camera you do have a front camera as well on this machine as you can see and the front camera is a 2 megapixel camera and this is how the overall OS look like so it runs the latest version of Android it is running Android version 4.2 out of the box as of now and let me just show you the version the exact version of the Android so if we go under settings over here let me go into the settings and if we take a look over the version of Android so you have Android 4.2.2 on this device out of the box in terms so as far as storage is concerned you have a uh, 12 GB of storage available on the internal storage and uh, out of which around 11.50 GB is available to the user for installing application for storing picture videos and other data and when it comes to the SD card you do have an SD card support as well on this device as far as the SD card is concerned you can insert a memory SD card over here on this slot and you can expand the storage you are we are not sure whether you can actually install apps directly on the SD card on this machine as far as the keyboard is concerned you have a chiclet kind of a keyboard which is pretty good in terms of the overall build quality and these keys does have good amount of travel uh, the kind of travel they should have they does have that kind of travel you have a touch pad over here as well and again the bottom part of the touch pad is the clickable part so you can left click by clicking over here by touching over here and you can do a right click by touching over here so, so as far as the display is concerned you have 10.1 inch of display on this particular machine and this is again a tablet plus laptop with this kind of a keyboard which come with this particular machine and you have a touchpad over here which does give you the kind of feedback you are looking at whenever you do a left click or a right click thing which I really like is that the tablet part of this virtual machine is not heavy at all. It is fairly light as compared to the other tablets, the other 10.1 inch tablet which we see in the market. So it is pretty good. So as far as the loudspeaker is concerned, you have loudspeaker at the bottom over here as you can see. So you have two loudspeakers on both the sides at the bottom and you have the HP branding over here. It is a complete touch based machine. You have other applications are concerned. You have all these applications which come pre-installed. You have the HP camera. The back camera is a 5 megapixel camera and the front camera is like this and this is how the view will look like from the front camera. You can do a high definition video chat from the front camera. It is capable of doing high definition video chat. 
So as far as the back camera is concerned, you do not have tap to focus on the uh, user interface, but it can actually take better photos and this is how the view will look like from the back camera, which is a 5 megapixel camera on this device. So the back camera on this particular tablet is pretty good in terms of the overall clarity as you can see. And again, in daylight, this camera is going to perform much better. You do not have tap to focus on this back camera. Also, the back camera is not auto focus capable. It does not auto focus on the object touch of capacitor buttons within the display not on the body of the tablet so again they will take some part of the screen resolution and if we take a look over the other setting which we have on this device let's take a look over the brightness sensor and the other things so if we take a look over the display uh, the brightness over here is again at the highest level as you can see and again it does not have automatic brightness as per us as you can see over here as far as the wallpapers are concerned you have support for live wallpapers static wallpapers on this device but video wallpapers are not supported as far as ram is concerned you have 2 gb of ram on this device and out of which around 0.88 gb is used and you have around 0.93 gb free also have dts sound plus option so you will get better quality of sound from the tablet and apart from uh, HP camera application, we do see some additional application which come pre-installed on this device like the HP ePrint, HP File Manager, HP Media Player and all these applications are again designed for this specific tablet from HP which come preloaded on the device and you also get some additional applications like Hulu Plus, you have uh, Splash Top 2 some games as well you have things of office that means you can actually edit documents on the go on this device and again the keyboard which comes with this particular machine you cannot buy this tablet alone you will have to buy this uh, keyboard as well which comes within the package of this machine so you will have to buy both of these things together and you can actually edit the documents on the go using the keyboard much faster than you can do on a touchscreen definitely so in terms of the overall look and feel the overall experience we give a thumbs up to this device in terms of the overall design as well. This is a pretty nice ta tablet plus laptop uh, with Android for a change. We have seen some Windows tablet from HP. Now this is an Android tablet plus laptop from HP and it is a kind of a convertible. You can detach the display part of it and this is how you can see you do have the rubber pads over here on this machine at the bottom which will make sure that the device does not slip even if you place the device on a slippery table or something like that and it does have all the connectivity ports which should be there on this kind of a machine so that's all from us as far as the quick hands-on review and overview of the hp slate x2 devices concerned we would do let us know if you have any specific question for this device we would love to help you you can like this video if this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you